reaching for no chain. My little homie clutching a ride, get ready to blow your Um, it was Facebook then. I started looking at all the stuff or whatever. Um, trying to make myself aware and keep up with everything and make and trying to make others that was around me aware what their um kids was being involved with as well. What, what age was he shot on the bus? He was 14. 14. 14 years old. He not mm -hmm. listening, y'all. And and this is around the time where his dad passed, his grandma passed. You're noticing the change. Do you notice uh do you ever find like a gun in his room or anything of that nature or is it just all social media at that time? Yeah, at that point um it was so it was social media. Um like I say he never had that stuff around me. Um I guess cuz I guess he res respected my career and if he did um he hid it. Here you go, um, capping. You capping, my dude. So, my dude, don't count like that. I never man. like he never like had no guns around me, like smoking marijuana in front of me and all that type. Oh of yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Now that's I stupid. Never, um, saw none of that. But okay. you knew he so had five. Bus shooting. Be a hundred. Did that pop off the beef that everybody's seeing today, or was that just some that side? That was a whole nother beef. Okay. That was a whole nother beef right there. This stuff that's today that's totally different because you have to understand back then. All the all of them used to be like friends. All of them was yep. cool. All of them was neutral. I, all the, I, I, I'm friends with all of their parents. I were friends because when the stuff started, some people went their own way or whatever. But around around then, everybody was friends. Typical. Everybody like that's how it they happened. Hung around him. Some of the same people that is involved in this beef. They either rapped together. They he did team parties. So they went to the team parties um, and supported him and all type of stuff. So. That beef right there didn't have anything to do with what's going on um, today. So I don't want to mention any rap names in this video as far as the people, his enemies. But so you're saying that y'all all know each other. We know each other very well. OK, Damn. so we know each other like you stay right here and I and that one stay right there. We know each other where I was doing your hair. We know each other where we were hanging out together. We know each other where we know each other stayed at. We were friends. We were best friends. We Damn. knew each other, knew each other. Not just like, oh, on social media. We we I, we have pictures together. They come up on my Facebook memory. Um, We were friends. We were all in, friends. Y'all, ain't that scary how the streets work? How, in all reality, somebody can't become your enemy unless they was your friend at one point in time. Like, ain't that weird as hell? So nine times out of ten, half these boys who be getting at it with each other were nine times out of ten cool at one point. Like, that shit is kind of crazy, though, right? Y'all, like, you can't really have smoke with somebody that you wasn't once cool with before. And that's usually, typically, how it all works out. And she's explaining it right now, like, how everybody used to hang with each other. She was doing folks her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was playing in these boy scout. These boy was drinking milk out her refrigerator, probably. And then it lead to them going at it with each other. Like, that is very interesting how this beef shit really works bro the same person you was kicking it with might be the person to uh try to take you out the game got down yeah they're crazy and we're talking about people from other sides of town too right everybody wow everybody mm. so when things get a little uglier do y'all reach out to one another or do people just distance themselves i'm the reacher outer i'm the, the reacher outer, outer. I reached out. She created words, y'all. Um, everybody know that I got shot eight times. Damn. Going to work early in the morning. Eight? And I was in the hospital bed, and I started reaching out. Like, hey, I don't want this to happen to you. I have one individual that say, oh, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to her. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn, we was cool. We supposed to be adults. Damn. Um, some adults not uh, uh, adulting. But then damn. I have these other people on this side. Um, I talked to the dads or whatever. Damn, that's what's going on. I'm sorry, Drake, da 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 da, whatever. And I have do have some parents that I was talking to, um, or whatever that we try to we were sharing like posts and stuff that anything we found out, we were exchanging information, or whatever, because we wanted each other to be fa safe. Because at the end of the day, you could tell these kids what to do and all that type of stuff right there, but they're gonna do what they want to do. I we can't control nobody to who want their kid to, to do stuff like this. Nobody. So, um. I reached out. I'm a reacher outer. I'm always reaching out, but it came a point where I stopped reaching out because people get mad. Oh, she called me. I always got to call me and tell me about this. Okay, then. Well, I'm just trying to fair warn you. Warning it comes before destruction that this is what's going on. This is what your kid got going on. So 
I'm just, just gonna keep it to myself. Oh, this crazy, y'all. This this beyond me. Hold up, fam. But she was one shot away from being 50 cent, fam. Eight times is crazy, fam. I thought she got grazed on her finger. Shorty say she would hit eight times. Like, damn, sure you must have drunk milk right before you went to work. I know you did. Them boys was a little bit too hot out here. They must ain't know you were prepared. You hear me? With the whole guy in the milk. Straight like that. Mama, you stood on business. I'ma let you know right now you's a true soldier. Black fist in the comment section right now for Mama Fulio, bro. But goddamn, eight is crazy. I, I really ain't expect that, bro. I'm still, like, lost as hell. This is what's... Spinning Benz was talking about when uh Mondeuse handled more than you. I thought he was being sarcastic and, and just saying that just to say it. But he was dead ass serious. Eight times? Well, I know you lying. You it can't be true. I feel bad as a parent and as a human being. So if I know something's gonna go go down and if something happened, I would feel so bad that I could have said, Hey, such and such. Uh, you know, if I didn't say anything or whatever. So I just got to the point where, hey, I, I don't got nothing to do with it, and it is what it is. I tried to reach out, and that's it. When did you know that it was real? I mean, we know getting shot on a school bus is, is crazy, but yeah, shit, it was like, real when did you know that like lives, you know, people can end up dead, serious things can happen? What was the first time that you seen but, that it was really because real? Because it came a point, and people was getting killed every day. Even from when he got shot at 14, his friend got he went to rains with he got killed these kids were getting killed like every other month as kids every other month and then just as like recently as five years of course i knew it got real when they started getting killed or whatever and then when excuse me i got shot um in 2018 but i always knew that it was real because the violence was very horrible it, it was yeah. bad it was very bad did you ever have sit downs with Fulio? Um, you know the the record when I see you and uh, it was a, a song where he listed. Um, let me see a list of dead ops where he's just naming everybody who who passed away. Are you are you begging him not to put these out? Are you telling him to yeah, delete I these videos? Yeah, I used to tell him. I used to talk to him or whatever. I'm not like, oh Charles, why would you do that? Why why did you do that? He was like, Mom, you seen what they said about you? You said you see you see they talked about my, my friends. You see what they said. So it's only a certain amount of stuff that I could I could I could do. Or whatever. When I used to tell him, hey, why did you do that? Oh, you, you ain't see you ain't, oh you ain't call their mom. You ain't hear the song they put out. So it's always a response or whatever. Damn, y'all. This some typical black people stuff, y'all. For the folks who don't got enough melanin to understand what I'm talking about. You read me? Like, this just basically what happened in the black community. Like, it's really tick for tat. And I ain't talking about the, the, the shit you pop in your mouth to stop your breath from being ridiculously bad. I'm talking about, like, you see how she mentioned it's only so much she could tell fully about these songs. When, that that's cap. There's a lot you can tell him about these songs. You feel me? You could really tell his head, like, fam, I'm not vibing with that at all, bro. If you love me, don't do it. But the moment he probably hit her with the mom, you ain't heard what they say about you? Mom, you ain't see what they talking about my dog? You didn't see what they say about cub, bro, woo, woo, this and that. She probably was there like, damn, I ain't gonna lie, son. You were kind of right. You feel me? And it's just like, not saying she wrong for that, but she frying a little bit of chicken, y'all. And I can tell when somebody not being all the way truthful. But I could understand why she's still trying to keep it clean. Because you feel me? She's being mentioned all on the news channel and all type of stuff. They say they trying to get justice for his mom. She's a good... Like, so like, I don't even really blame her for for putting on this image bro but like that's why i'm here for you feel me the real dj break it down for y'all that's what big eight have to do you feel me don't go reaching for no chain my little homie clutching a ride ready to blow your